Thank you for purchasing a Reverie 3E Adjustable Foundation. Proper delivery and setup will ensure many years of reliable use. In this tutorial, we will review three steps. Delivery, Unpacking, Setup. For safety reasons, keep the adjustable foundation in the box while moving it. Make sure two people are present at all times to help avoid injury. Carry the adjustable foundation box to the customer's desired location with one hand supporting the bottom of the box and one hand stabilizing the top. Lay the box flat. To avoid damage to the adjustable foundation, always open the box while the foundation is laying flat on the floor. Remove all tape and binding straps from the box. Before discarding any packing materials, check the box and verify that there are no parts remaining. You will find everything you need inside the box to set up the adjustable foundation. Refer to the owner's manual included in the box for a complete list of parts. Carefully remove the plastic sheet resting on the steel. To begin, remove all boxes and accessories from the box. Locate the owner's manual with easy to read instructions. When you are finished assembling the foundation, make sure you give the owner's manual to the owner. To assemble the bed legs, Open the accessories box, remove the four legs, and thread them in a clockwise direction into the threaded holes in the frame. Be sure to tighten the legs securely to the frame with your hands, no tools required, leaving no space between the leg and the frame. Do not over-tighten the legs, but they should not be loose. Remove and extend the power cord from the frame. Please make sure that power cords don't interfere with any adjustable foundation mechanisms. In the event of a power outage, the adjustable foundation has an emergency power down feature. Open the battery cover on the control box. Install the two alkaline 9 volt batteries and replace the battery cover to activate the power down feature. Remove the plastic packaging from the adjustable foundation by pulling up on the plastic stapled in each corner. Carefully flip the frame over so the bed is standing upright. At least two people are required for this. Do not lean the adjustable foundation against the installed legs to flip it over. Finish removing the plastic by pulling up and over the retainer plates. Plug the power cord into a grounded electrical outlet or a recommended electrical surge protector. Your remote is hardwired and does not require batteries. Briefly activate all functions on the wired remote control to verify that all of the features are operational. If you want to pair split king components together, do the following. Each TXL comes with its own remote. Carefully unplug the remote control from both foundations. Remove both remote controls and set aside. Plug the Y cable output into the control ports on each foundation as shown in the diagram and plug one of the hardwired remotes back in. To assemble the mattress retainer system, use the retainer bolts and retainer bar plate to fasten the mattress retainer bracket to the front of the bed frame as shown. If the adjustable foundation is to be set up without a headboard, simply install a mattress on the frame to complete the installation. To install the included headboard brackets to the bed frame, use the remote control to raise the head of the bed and expose the bracket installation area. Using nuts, bolts, and the tools provided, bolt the leg clamp bracket to the leg and the inner headboard bracket to the leg clamp bracket. Then place the open side of the outer headboard bracket onto the inner headboard bracket and hand tighten the locking nut to allow for adjustment. Repeat the same procedure on the opposing side of the bed frame. Congratulations! Your Reverie 3E adjustable foundation is now installed. For Reverie customer service, please call 800-973-8374 or email customerservice at reverie.com.